In this video, I'll show you the top three VPNs for Windows, and I'll break down which VPN is the best VPN for Windows in 2023. So at number one, we have ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN would be my top rated VPN, and I would definitely put it up there as my best VPN overall. The only downsides with ExpressVPN are that it comes with a premium pricing model, and you can only use it on five devices simultaneously when you compare it to other VPNs, which sometimes come with unlimited devices, and they come in at a cheaper price. When testing ExpressVPN on my Windows device, I was getting a 10% speed drop compared to my normal home connection. That means if you have 100 megabytes per second down and up, you should expect about 90 megabytes down and up when using ExpressVPN. The amazing thing about ExpressVPN though are the quick speeds and the selection of locations that you can choose from. ExpressVPN operates in over 94 different countries countries, so whichever server you need or whichever virtual location you want to connect to, you can find it on ExpressVPN. Now another great feature of ExpressVPN is that it operates with a really good no logs policy, so you know that they're not tracking or watching over what you actually use ExpressVPN for. So whether you want to stream on Netflix or you want to use it for playing video games, you can use ExpressVPN knowing that their no logs policy has been independent independently audited by KPMG and the latest audit was done in September of 2022. When it comes to extra features, you'll find that ExpressVPN has a kill switch and split tunneling, which is what we need when we have a premium VPN. When we tested ExpressVPN on various streaming services such as Netflix, HBO Max, The Zone, and much more, it was able to bypass all of the blocks in place, and we were able to access some of the geo-restricted content that you will find on some of the providers such as Netflix. Overall, I would say ExpressVPN is just the best VPN VPN that you can get online right now. And if you want to save some money, then there is a discount code in the description, which will save you about 50% on your purchase and you'll get three months free. Now the next two VPNs that I'm going to be covering are much cheaper than ExpressVPN and come with similar features, but they do have some slight downsides that I'll get into. At number two, we have private internet access. Private internet access is another great VPN that operates in over 84 different countries countries and has a huge server network to choose from of nearly 13,000 servers. So whichever location you're looking to connect to in the world, you can find that on private internet access. Now the pricing is much, much cheaper when you compare it with ExpressVPN, but it does have some downsides I'm going to get into. Now the main issue that I find with private internet access comes from the jurisdiction that it's based out of. Private internet access operates out of the United States and whilst it does have a very good no logs policy that has been independently audited by Deloitte, you should still feel slightly uneasy if you're using this VPN for privacy. Compared to ExpressVPN, which operates out of the British Virgin Islands, which is a much safer jurisdiction when comparing it to private internet access. Other than the jurisdiction that it operates out of though, private internet access has some amazing speeds of about 15 to 20% slower compared to your home internet connection. So if your home internet operating 100 megabytes per second, you should expect about 80 to 85 when using this VPN. Private internet access Access also has a lot of the common VPN features that you'll find on other VPNs, such as a kill switch, split tunneling, and an ad blocker. A unique feature that private internet access has when compared to the other VPNs is it has a dedicated IP feature that allows you to maintain the same IP address no matter which server or at whatever time that you connect to the VPN. That means you won't have to go through all those annoying two-factor authentication checks and it should reduce the amount of captures that you have to deal with when using the VPN. You can also use this VPN to get whitelisted on gaming servers. As a dedicated IP will never change, you can use it for whitelisting and that way you'll be able to connect and play some of your favorite games. Now a big benefit of private internet access over ExpressVPN 
is the fact that it allows for unlimited amount of devices. That means you could buy one subscription and share it with your friends and family and everyone would be able to use the same VPN and connect to different servers. Overall, I would have to say that private internet access is a great budget option for anyone that wants a VPN for Windows. And if you want to save some money, then you can check out the links again in the description where you can get over 82% off and three months for free. And at number three, we have CyberGhost VPN. CyberGhost operates in over 91 different countries with over 9,000 servers to choose from. Compared to the other two VPNs, CyberGhost has one big benefit, and that's the jurisdiction that it operates out of. CyberGhost is based in Romania, and Romania has some of the best privacy laws when compared to the other jurisdictions that the other VPNs use. So for those that are focused on privacy and might not care as much about speed and features, CyberGhost is the perfect option. And just because it's slightly slower when compared to ExpressVPN, the speeds are still very good and you can expect about a 10 to 20% speed drop depending on which server you connect to compared to your home connection. So you might expect about 80 or 90 megabytes per second compared to 100 when using this VPN. Now a great feature about CyberGhost is that is pre-optimized for various services. Let's say you want to connect to Netflix and you want to access some geo-restricted content, let's say in Canada. Well, CyberGhost has pre-optimized servers and you just have to click one button and connect to the Netflix Canadian server and you'll be able to watch any content that's available in Canada and isn't available in your home country. It also has dedicated servers for gaming and other streaming platforms, so it can cover pretty much any use case. It does have one small downside when comparing it with private internet access, and that's that it's only available on seven devices simultaneously, whereas private internet access is unlimited. Now, if you're looking for a discount on CyberGhost VPN, then check out again the links in the description where you can save over 80% off and get several months free. Alongside that, CyberGhost has a very generous 45 day money back guarantee. So if you're ever not happy with the VPN or the speeds aren't matching up to your expectations, you can just contact them and get a no questions asked refund. So that sums up my video on the best VPN for Windows and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're looking for videos on how to set up a VPN on Windows or maybe how to use one, then check out my channel and you'll find other videos which will cover all of those topics. So until next time, have a great day.